Oh, he's tagged. Band. He's got a band. All right. Oh, that is awesome. What is going on, guys? So this was an early season snagging trip. Uh, this was filmed on March 20th of 2024. We were on the Osage River just up from Truman Lake. We had a very good day. This is my dad and I. We got a limit, and as you saw in the intro there, I caught a band, which is actually my third band that I've ever got. Uh, but if you stick around, I will show you what I got back from Missouri Department of Conservation on this fish, when they tagged it, how big it was when they tagged it, and where they tagged it. Uh, so if you want to see that, hang around. I've only seen that one snag so far on the graph anyway. There you go. All right. Good job. <laughs> Looks like a good fish. <laughs> All right, what'd that take, 10 minutes? Time at all. That is awesome. Pulling lid. Ran from there, I it? know. I could instantly tell it was a fish when you hit it because uh, your rod tip was bouncing. Didn't feel that big, man. Might've been a carp. That looks pretty good. Right. Yeah, he's got a little bit of That's pretty big. <laughs> Look at the ripples he made right there. I'd be surprised if this isn't a paddlefish. I really like this pole the way it bends more than those other two. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure it's a paddlefish. He should be showing up here in a second. There you go. Legal paddlefish. Good job. Eagle bill in the boat. Let him finish peeing. That's a long, skinny one. Yeah, I was kind of waiting to put it in the boat till he did that. Oh, yeah. I bet he's 39. Maybe 40. He's really long. It's a male, but he's super long. Ready? Yeah, he's almost 40. Really? Yeah, he's long. Dang. Long male. That's amazing. Yeah, I can't believe how many are up at Roscoe already. It's crazy. And, oh, fish on. Fish on. All right. Yeah, it feels like a really good one. It's awesome when you can do this and fine? not have to use a dipsy diver. Ah, oh. uh, you might not be legal. Yeah, it's gonna be a short. There's a shorty. Guys, I debated pretty heavily on putting this scene in this episode, but I decided to go ahead and add it in just to uh, help other people learn from our lesson. It's If you're squeamish, now's the time to skip forward a little bit, but uh, we had a hook accident here, uh, and we learned quite a bit from it. From now on, when, when we're taking fish off, one person's going to be pinning the bill and the tail, and the other person's going to be dealing with the hooks. That way the fish can't flop at all. So learn from our mistake here and take this advice. You okay? It's in there deep. Oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna have to cut it with. Oh. Let's get this fish off of here. Don't let him flip. I got him. Dang it. Oh. oh God. Hang on. Let's get the fish off first. Don't put tension on it. The barb did. All right, push down on his tail so he can't flop. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm trying to get it out. Hang on. Let's get this hook out of here. All right. 
You gotta move your hand so I can see. You're a troublemaker, dude. All right. Yeah, that's not good. Let me get, before you pull it out, let me get something ready to stop the bleeding. And put pressure on it. I have some napkins right here. So I'm sure everyone has an opinion on how they would have done things differently here. And believe me, we do too now. Uh, we're we're going to do things a lot differently from here on. But uh, I'd like to throw out there that my dad is a pretty tough son of a gun. Here, wrap it and put pressure. You okay? Yeah. You need to go to the emergency room? No. Good mark. Oh, fish on. You got it. Yep, it's a paddle. Big fish. Big fish. Real big fish. Either that or it's coming in sideways. It pulled some drag right out of the gate, though. It's a paddle. It's a keeper. He might not be a keeper. It's hard to tell. Here, let me pull his bill up to you. Come back this way. It's gonna be close on the keeper scale. All right, I'm gonna pin his tail. That's all right, buddy. Got him. That's a better, better than what we usually do. Smarter. Yeah, it's gonna be a close one. He's short and stubby. I got 30, 30 and a half. Oh, He's short. You want to toss him or you want to? I got him. Uh oh. Big? Yeah. Big? It's kind of weird. I wonder if I got someone's line or something. Yeah, I got someone's line. Pull this one and you pull that This one's hooked up to a log or something. There's something on the end of this. This, yeah, this side's hooked up on that log. Might get a dipsy diver out of this. I got a fishing pole. <laughs> Look at that. That's awesome. There you go. All right, look at him go to the side. <laughs> oh, I love that. Drag puller. There we go. As many as we were seeing on the graph, I didn't think it'd be much longer. That is definitely a paddlefish. Yeah. Let's work him on to this side over here. I'll get the tarp ready. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That'll keep. I hope they're good. Nope, he's not. Swing him around backwards so his head is up. We'll call that a boated fish. Back of the eyeball, we are at 30, 38 and a half. You got two 39 fish today, 39 inches. Rope.
Another big male. I really think that when you lay in there with your eyes. There we go. Oh yeah. There you go. There you go. Good fish. Very good fish. Alright. Still solid? Yeah, it's a good fish. See how much drag you rip? Yeah. He's still pulling drag. <laughs> Way out there. No. Oh, I thought it got off. Oh, he's not really hooked at all. Okay. We're gonna have to do this fast. Really gently. I'm actually gonna turn my drag down just here. So he's if he, him, so he's, left around, he's, he's good barely, barely hooked. If he runs, just let go of him. I got my drag really loose. All right, here's your grab. Ready? It's all right, we'll bring him back around. Ready? I'm gonna bring him to you. Excellent. Good grab, good grab. He pulled drag for a little male. Be careful. Ah, don't let go of his head. He was not hooked very well at all. Guys, I would much rather pull lead than use dipsy divers like that, but it comes to a point in the day where you're halfway through and you're just worn out. I'm at zero at the fork. 35 to the middle of the eye, so 34 and three quarters probably. That's a legal fish. I don't have much rope. That's a good fish. That is a very good fish. Look at him go. <laughs> I didn't take long. Oh, you like a big one? Yeah. It sure does. That last one felt like a big one too, though. When you get them through the tail, they, they can really go. Turn this clicker off. There we go. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good. Fish. The day. Bring him around this side. Oh. You got off? No. Yeah. He's just pulling, <laughs> pulling me straight down. Oh. Let your drag out. Is it coming? It's coming. I just turned the clicker off. Yeah, the drag's set pretty loose. Can you get him around here? Oh, he's caught. He's yeah, that's a big one. He's not hooked real good. Yeah, but that those, those back hooks aren't even in. All right. I can get him on this side. Him just yeah, let's just get him in the boat. That's a big male. Ready? I'm gonna drag him back to you and give you another opportunity. Oh, he's tagged. He's got a band. All right. Oh, that is awesome. That is my, yep, that's my third banded fish. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. <laughs> Congrats. That's awesome. Look at that, guys. That's my third fish with a band in it. Awesome. I will take that. Zero on the tail. 
four pack pivot of tail. Dye, 41. 41, that's the big E of the day. Yep. Awesome. That's the way to do it. That's a limit, guys. All right, guys, as promised, I wanted to go over the uh, the information on that paddlefish with the band in it that I got back from the conservation department. So this fish was banded on March 8th of 2015, as you can see there. When they banded it nine years ago, it was uh, just over 34 inches. So that is an addition of six inches in nine years. Uh, the fish weighed 33 pounds. When my dad and I weighed it after this trip, it was about 41 pounds. So that's about a eight pound gain. Uh, they tagged this fish at Horseshoe Bend, and on this particular day, we were uh, we filmed this video over by Roscoe on the Osage River. So that fish had swam quite a ways, which doesn't surprise me. That's probably not terribly far compared to how far it swam on uh, other migrations that it's made, but uh, it's still pretty low down compared to where it was headed, probably. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to make sure to share that stuff with you guys. It shows how slow these fish grow. And when you when you see those real big ones, it really puts it into perspective uh, how long it takes for them to reach that size. So such a cool fish. We're very lucky to have them in Missouri and especially to have such a generous limit of two per day per person. That's that's just amazing. So good way to fill your freezer and, a, and an excellent resource that, that we have here in our state. So uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching.